up. Um, so the sun is setting, and uh, thought I'd just come out here and just talk about um, just a couple more things before uh, I hang it up and call it a night. But um, uh, <sighs> why well, do I want to get on this one? Because all right, so once I this last out for like several weeks or so up until literally like last week you know yeah I was on the seam retention thing and but I still felt like I was like wasting my time um I wasn't doing much productive stuff um okay I'm not gonna say that per se I believe serving at a church is a great thing to do but as far as in my home life, I wasn't really doing much. Um, but some just smacked me in the face like this past week. <laughs> and um, I just started to really just be able to transmute this stuff into my creativeness, you know, like, just doing stuff. Because I, I spent too much time idle in this house. I've been out of work for two years and three months. Um, and finally about to go back soon, so that's a that's a blessing right there. You know, but um, there's a lot of great things that came out of this. I got to have personal time with God, and even 2021, I kind of like fell short on that with my prayer time and reading the Word and devotional time, and that's kind of like why I'm really behind in the Word. I would say, um, not necessarily behind. You know, I'm still early in my walk as a Christian, so I'm not gonna expect myself to just know Bible verses like somebody that's been in it for 10 years, you know, but I know what I've been reading over, I know what I received as far as scripture goes, and I know what the Bible says about an idle mind, I know what the Bible says about somebody that who doesn't work, doesn't eat, who doesn't work, you know, you're worse than an infidel or unbeliever, you know, so I understand those concepts and I, I just sit here and just really contemplate like, yo, I can't I can't sit around and just do nothing while I'm waiting for a great opportunity. And even though I'm waiting for a great opportunity, I had to start putting in action. And there was some action that I took, you know, as far as getting employment while I'm waiting for something else, this opportunity. But in the meantime, what am I doing in my in, in my house? Like, what am I doing just with the gifts and talents and the, the resources, the things that God has blessed me with? And this is like, yo, I just bought a new guitar like two weeks ago. Since then, I've been or like. I think it was last week, actually. No, two weeks, less than two weeks ago, I bought a new guitar. It's just, that just sparked the next thing. You know, like, let me record some songs. Like, and then let, let me do something else. It's just like, it was too much that I was doing, you know, like, over these last several years that was taking me away. Video games being one of my biggest vices. Video games. Smoking weed, you know, and just being high and just sitting around, you know, once you, once you high, and you ain't gonna have no drive to really do much at all is binge watching anime you know <laughs> just you know it's just like but what does this stuff profit me you know if i ain't getting nowhere in life it's just i'm just doing stuff but it ain't doing nothing for my children you know it ain't doing nothing to help me provide for my family it ain't doing much towards you know the God's purpose in my life, it ain't doing much towards the gifts, talents, and abilities that I have that I'm not utilizing and operating in. So it's, it's so many things, there's so many aspects that I have to myself and I was just sitting around really just wasting my time and wasting my life. One of the worst regrets is, is looking back 20 years and saying, man, I could have done this. I could have been this. Oh, I could have done this. You know, that's that's the worst thing when you're sitting next to people and every time you're next to them, they just talk about what they could have been or what they could have done. And, and, and that's their lives. Sitting around talking about all the stuff they could have done. I'm done, <laughs> you know, because I started to turn into that like, man, what if I played for the basketball team? Or what if I did run track in college? What if I didn't drop out of college? Or what if I didn't quit this? Or what if I didn't like, no, I, I had to stop doing that. 
I know I could have went to the Olympics. I know if I'd have kept on playing football, I could have went to the NFL. I know if I'd have started playing basketball my junior year that I probably could have went to the NBA. I know those things because I know myself. And the enemy will want to hold me back from everything. I know that I could have signed with a label and, and been on this big tour and been the biggest superstar, you know, but God had other plans for your boy, you know, personally. And I appreciate my moments when I was idle. I appreciate those moments when I wasn't doing nothing. You know, one of the biggest wastes of time is this. Is I wasn't even chasing women. You know, like, in the way that most men were, I don't have a lot of sexual partners. I don't. I wasn't sleeping with a lot of women, but I was wasting my time with a lot of women. I was wasting my time being friend-zoned and communicating and giving women advice on their crappy boyfriends. And just for them to go back to their crappy boyfriends, I was that nice guy that, you know, just wasted time on social media. Just pouring out all of the nicest stuff that I can say to just gain attention from women that just fantasized about the nice guy just but didn't really want to be with that nice guy. It was it was so much stuff that I wasted my time with. And I said the communication, I wasn't chasing women, but my communication with women, the, all the friendships that I had. Now my only my main friendship is I'm, I'm talking about the opposite sex, you know, like my sisters in Christ, of course, you know, but mainly my wife. I don't have a wife right now. My wife should be my best friend over any male or woman. My wife should be my best friend. And if I don't have a wife, then I shouldn't be wasting my time with you. I shouldn't be wasting my time. You know, if, if it ain't feeding my purpose, like the video games, like playing video games for three hours, watching Netflix for four hours. <laughs> You know, just wasting away time. You know, I remember just smoking and just sitting down, just, like, watching stuff, and just eating. You know, and I'm skinny, but I'm just gluttony still. You know, just. And I'm not trying to judge anybody for how they're living. You know, I'm just talking about my personal life, and I'm really just motivated and moved. And, you start to realize once you start to be around certain people, even people that you love, you it's like you don't want to be around. It's so unproductive. You don't want to be around unproductive people. That stuff rubs off on you. It's is is once you're around discouraged people, it's discouraging. And all you want to do is uplift people. And all the stuff that you're saying is just like Charlie Brown's and adults and wow 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 whenever you're talking about hey uplift yourself hey get up get on your purpose do something with yourself do something with your life wow 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 you know nobody wants to hear that stuff so I had to learn to stop wasting my time even trying to convince people to do something with their lives I had to stop wasting my time I just need to just just be an example I just need to do what I need to do for mine. And not worry about nobody else. Because God has a purpose for me. I need to be focused on that. And trust in what God is doing. Forget all the everything else. Because all that other stuff. Like, if people really, like, if people really rocking what you're saying, they, they, people gonna see you. And people are either gonna be motivated or they're gonna be unmotivated. People are going to be encouraged or they're going to be envious and jealous of you. But regardless, you got to do what you need to do. You can't allow what people think about you to hold you back from doing what you need to do either. Because that be our issue as well. You know, and just, it ain't about worldly success. But I believe that if you put the work in, you know, you, you receive. If you put the work in. And there's people right now that will hold you back and, and, and drag you down and take you away from doing what you need to do to ensure that your future is good, to ensure that your future children is good, your legacy is good or, or whatever. Try to bring you down and it's like it's a spiritual thing. They're trying to take you away from a future wife or try to take you away from having righteous seed. Ultimately, you know, especially I say for men, we got to start wa stop wasting our time. You know, if we are made to lead, to be the leaders, if we are made to be the heads, you know, to be the heads of the households and, and to be leaders, 
if we are to be the sole providers of our families, if you're that man that's going to be a sole provider for your family, you gotta stop wasting your time. You gotta get up and get on your grind, get on your purpose. And the main thing that I will say, like, because some people will make work their idol, and some people will make you know, just these things, these gifts and everything, they're idle. And even many Christians would do it. You got to put the time in with, with the Creator. You got to put the time in with God. You got to put the time in with His Word. You got to put that time in and be moved by the Holy Spirit to do this stuff. You got to put God in, not just number one. No, you got to put God in the center of everything in your life. And once you start wasting your time, you get to see things more clearly. But... Regardless, oh, let me check this. Yeah, regardless, I hope that what I said could spark something in you. And um, may the Holy Spirit be with you. And God bless.